Our challenge today is to stop playing the victim. Slobo, don't you remember me? Oh my God, you didn't hear. I'm so sorry. Slomo had a scuba diving accident. Yeah, he came up too fast and the oxygen deprivation. Poor guy, he doesn't remember anyone, even me, his own brother. I'm just some nice guy who helps him out. You poor thing. Well, in the movie, of course, Vince Vaughn plays the victim here as a way to get out of something. And we all occasionally play the victim to get something. But if you're doing it on a regular basis and it's become your default mode, then it becomes a real problem. So here are a couple of things of... Some of the downside of playing a victim is you end up pushing people away. Right. You turn people off, and you're never actually able to get to the level of being independent or confident. Well, and I think it gets old after a while. It's kind of like crying yeah. wolf, right? Where people are like, okay, once again, there she is. And we're talking about people who consistently blame others or their situation for why they can't get ahead in life. Right. Just right. clarify here. So we're saying that you either refuse to accept responsibility or accountability for the part you play, or you might find yourself always having accidents. That's because you're driven by the desire to be a victim. Right. So here are a couple of things you can do to stop playing the victim. And first is to identify on paper who taught you to play the victim. Either your parents were doing mm. it and you copied them, or it was the only way you could get attention. I did it as a kid. The only, but I would do it very rarely. I would do it once a year with a major accident. Oh my I'd be, gosh. I'd be riding, <laughs> I'd, I'd be riding a of bike, and did. there's no cars except a park car, and I'd hit it. But there are people who do this every day in little ways. Like I'm problem. late to work because I don't have money yeah. for gas, because I don't yeah. have a good job, because I can't blah 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 blah. I mean, fill in the blank. Like. So the second thing is to identify what are the benefits of your victimhood. Okay. You're most likely you're getting attention. Yeah. Sympathy. You're getting sympathy, a good one. Yeah. You're getting mm -hmm. significance or you're avoiding responsibilities. Oh, I'm too sick to look after those kids or whatever it is. Yeah. Um, so number three, also start looking at, well, if I'm getting attention, is there a better way for me to get attention? In other words, now that you know what the benefit is of playing the victim, find another way to get that same benefit. So like maybe achieve something on your own so that people say you're so great because you did right. something, not because you couldn't do something. So you're getting attention for something positive rather than something negative. Okay. You're getting significant for doing something positive. So get to a piece of paper right now and start the challenge. You've got 56 minutes to get there.